Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Today's tutorial is about if statements and else statements. It's very easy. It's aimed at the C sharp beginner using Unity. So let's head on over and get started. So just like usual, the first thing we need to do is make a new C sharp script. In this case, I'm going to call it not that, but that. If statements, nice, because it's nice and easy. The path is easy, my friend. Let's start by cleaning this mess up. I accidentally deleted the start function, and that's okay because you can rewrite it. It's not even a problem. You can rewrite the start function when you feel like it. Don't delete it. So up top here, I'm going to make a couple of public variables. Bull. And it's going to be called you are awesome. And for now, it's equal to false. But it's actually always true. You are awesome is always true. Now we're going to start making our first if statement here. If you are awesome is false, which we know it is because we declared it false at the top when we typed it out, we're going to do something if your awesome is false. And to test it out, we're going to use the print function and type something there like, you are awesome, you are not awesome, or what do you want? In this instance, uh, I'll say, oh, don't worry, you are awesome anyway, I mean it, and I do mean it. I mean, everybody's awesome, really. Most people are awesome. I like to think so. So all we're doing here is we're saying, if you're not awesome, print do something or whatever. And then we're going to say, you are awesome equals true, which we should have said that in the first place. We're going to say, if you're awesome is true. You notice how you are awesome is just the word by itself. There's no exclamation point in front of it. That means it's true. It's the same as you are awesome equals true. And then we're going to say print. See, I told you, you are awesome. So now that we got both of our if statements typed up or written, let's head on over back to Unity and take a look what's going on. All right now I'm going to clean this mess up by closing those. Those are the prefabs, FBXs. I'm going to make a new game object and I'm going to call it the awesome sauce because awesome sauce is good. Here's a quick tip. Use the gear shift to reset the position of your game object. It's always a good practice to have your objects, game objects zeroed out in our uh, editor if we can in Unity. So just be sure to click and drag your new script onto your new game object. Hit play in Unity and you see you have your, oh, don't worry, you are awesome anyway. I mean it. And that comes up because you uh, you are awesome is false. So it says right there, if you are awesome is true, see, I told you, you are awesome. And because we're working on the if statement script, and there's a couple other, it looks like there's two or three other comments coming up in the console, I'm going to go over and um, comment them out. So it keeps everything a little bit clean less uh garbage to look at definitely a lot less garbage to look at comment that out click on it comment the other print out clear it up look at it push play again and now we have our two comments from our if statements showing up. So just make sure you know what's going on here. First, we're saying if your awesome is false, print, oh, don't worry, you're awesome anyway, I mean it. And then on line 19, you're awesome is equal to true, we change it to true. And then we say if your awesome is true, print, see, I told you, you are awesome. And now we're gonna head over and check more than one condition. So to do that, we're gonna make another variable and it's going to be public of type int and 
it's not going to be have money in your pocket because that would be, well, the wrong thing. We're going to change, we're going to change have money in your pocket to something that makes more sense for an int, and it's going to be amount of money in your pocket. So copy and paste that over into the parentheses of your first if statement. And now we're going to use the double ampersands. And we're saying amount of money in your pocket is more than, greater than, or equal to 20. Then we're going to say print something new. And in this case, it says the awesome sauce were off. But you have... 20 bones or more in your pocket. It seems like the person who typed this out didn't put or more or something similar in. So head on over to your awesome equals true. We'll delete that because we don't need it right now. And we're going to add something to our second if statement. If you're awesome or or what? You are awesome? No, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for amount of money in your pocket is less than or equal to 20. So either it's going to be, we're, we're searching for, checking for if it's greater than or equal to 20 or less than or equal to 20. 20 what? Well, we're going to say $20 for right now. We're just talking about dollars. Because some of you out there just said, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I know that. I know that just happened. Your awesome sauce is amazing. And you have less than 20 bucks in your pocket. That's okay. Me too. I don't have any in my pockets right now. I got more than $20 in my wallet, though. Me three. Um, post... Post would say me four. Uh. So now that we figured out all the tricky stuff, flip flop flap back over to Unity, take a look at it. And auto generate is um, on, so I'm gonna turn it off for a second. Hit play, see what happens. And we can see your awesome sauce is amazing. You have less than 20 bucks in your pocket. Now that we got that sorted, let's head on back over to the studio and take a look at some more code. So just for testing purposes, let's uh, go back over to our if statements nice script and change the amount of money in your pocket to something a little bit more reasonable, like 100 bucks, unless you live in, I don't know, Zimbabwe. But you can see that if it's more than 20, and now it's 100, and finally he figured it out, or more, what happens? It's going to say print, da, 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 whatever we put in our print statement. And when we run the game, we can see that we get the good stuff by looking on the console. Look at it. Look at it. Maximize on play. The graphics are the best. The physics are the best. Black Ball's Castle of Death is the best game ever. So finally, head back over to Visual Studio. Delete our second if statement. And uh, for learning purposes, else what? Else it becomes a problem. That's what. So start by writing your else statement with the curly braces. Check a print in there and write something, type something, whatever makes you feel good. You are awesome and you are rich. Erd or Dick, Richard, Rich or Dick. You are awesome and you are rich, Richard or Dick. False. Meaning exclamation point is shorthand, same as writing. If you are awesome with the actual equal sign, false. So exclamation point in front of your bull, you're awesome, makes it false. Without it, makes it true. Head back over to Unity. 
clear the console, push play, and the game tells you that your awesome sauce wore off as we typed in our print line. Change the amount of money in your pocket, something sh not good like three. And let's see what happens now. Clear that mess up. The ball dropping is fascinating. You are awesome and you are rich. Rich Richard or Dick. All of them are names. Every single one of them. Dick is short for Richard. So for now, it really is that easy. All we're doing is we're saying if something and something is true or more than or greater than, we're going to print something here. Else, we're going to print something else there. So if something is this, it's this. Or if it's that, it's that. Also, remember that when we use the else statement, we do not need the parentheses because it doesn't take any arguments. You might want to look into else if later. If that's what you're looking for. But for now, else, curly fries, curly fries, and more curly fries.